Hey everyone, so today I have a very straightforward and easy video for you guys and hopefully I don't ramble enough to make it super long. Today we're going to be talking about whether or not your hedgehog is a boy or a girl. And uh, believe it or not, sexing hedgehogs is incredibly easy uh, for the most part. I mean, depends on the hedgehog's temperament, uh, which I will get into in a little bit. But generally speaking, uh, the... Hedgehog anatomy is uh, pretty easy to see. So originally I was gonna bring my boys out and show you what makes them boys, but I realized that this should be a fairly straightforward video and so I'm gonna use pictures. Um, I do not own a female, so I want to say a huge thank you to Huffy Puffs over on Instagram. Sydney, she provided the photos of the females that I will be putting in this video. I will leave links and everything down in the description to her social media. She's super sweet. She takes amazing photos. Her highlights section on her Instagram even has care guides that are super in-depth and awesome to follow. I just, I love her Instagram. It's one of the accounts that I happen to follow on a regular basis even though I'm not super active on Instagram anymore and I will leave her Facebook down in the description as well because she has a Facebook she keeps it updated and uh, unlike me <laughs> so let's get into the differences between males and females now thankfully personality wise hedgehogs have a wide range of personalities that really aren't impacted by gender. So the main differences between males and females are physical anatomy and thankfully hedgehogs are generally pretty easy to sex. Male hedgehogs happen to have what a lot of people very fondly refer to as a belly button. Now this belly button is actually their penile sheath. This is where their penis comes from uh, and where it goes back inside and uh, that looks like a tiny little belly button. I'll put a photo of probably Draco on the screen so that you can see that. Uh, it's very easy to see. In fact, uh, most of the time if you don't see a belly button, it's a girl. So thankfully that is a very easy visual uh, way to tell whether you have a male or a female. Now their anus is located uh, right at the base of their tail so there is a significant gap between the penile sheath or the belly button and the anus and the tail. For females they have a vaginal opening uh, down it's very, very close to the anus and the tail, so there's just a tiny little bit of skin between the vaginal canal and the anus. They kind of just boom, boom, and then a tail. They'll have smooth, furry bellies, very easy to see uh, as long as a hedgehog is cooperating. One of the first things you want to do when you get a hedgehog is confirm the sex because for some reason, despite them being very easy to sex, a lot of people uh, either just don't put in the time to look up what the differences are or they just don't bother to check because their hedgehog's huffy or whatever. Um, and so some people do end up with the wrong sex. Now, they are solitary animals, so that isn't an, always a big deal unless you're in a rescue situation where you're rescuing like a pair and then you really need to know what their sexes are. That being said, hedgehogs aren't always super social when they first come home. So I'm going to show you one of the best ways to sex a hedgehog if you can't get them to unball or you, you flip them over on their backs to try and see their stomachs and they're just not having any of that. And uh, my demo hog will be Blaze, who is not a huge fan of being on camera in bright lights or being woken up, which um, he's about to be. So opportune uh, moment to uh, do this. So I will go get him. You will also need a clear bin uh, or a, a glass table if you have one of those, but I'm just gonna use a clear bin. So it's as simple as that. I just have him in a clear bin, and if you look from underneath, you can see there's his penile sheath right there. 
There's the little nub of his tail. His anus is there as well. So it is very self-evident that he is a male. Males also have, as they get older, some of them have very uh, visible testicles. Not all of them have very visible testicles. So you won't always see those. Like you can't really see blazes right now. But if this was Draco, you could totally see that. Those are his little fat rolls, which are adorable. I've had him on kitten food for a little bit uh, lately because he was losing some weight and now he's chunking back up. There's his fat belly. But yeah, that is the easiest way. You just put them in a clear bin, hold them over your head, and you can very clearly see their bellies if they refuse to open up for you for any reason. Whether that be that they're new or just don't feel like being poked and prodded that day or whatever the case may be. So that's really it from Blaze and I. He uh, hates filming in front of these bright lights, but he did great. You did a good job, buddy. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about sexing hedgehogs, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. Be sure to check out Sydney's account, The Huffy Puffs. Um, they have very cute merch. They have a ton of information. She's an excellent photographer and she helped with this video, which is amazing. Oh look, you can see he's a boy right there. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, as I've already said, and I will see you all in my next video. I am holding him so awkward. This is the worst way to hold a hedgehog. Hi. There.